Are you confused by all of the cancer nutrition advice on the internet? Are you overwhelmed and aren't really sure who to listen to? If so, I need you to watch this video. I treat cancer patients every day in my integrative oncology practice, and I have 10 key points that I'd like to share with you. Number one, what you eat matters. Unlike many oncologists, I actually recognize the value of nutrition. What you put in your body matters a lot. Now we have plenty of evidence that eating a proper anti-cancer diet has many benefits. Number two, your diet should focus mainly on highly nutritious foods. We're talking about fruits, vegetables, beans, grains, and healthy nuts and seeds. Research shows that plants are nutritional powerhouses, providing loads of vitamins, minerals, and other components your body needs. Research supports the anti-cancer effect of plants. Number three, emphasize unprocessed or minimally processed foods. This means choosing foods that are as close to how you find them in nature as possible. Get in the habit of reading ingredient lists. If a food has a long list of ingredients or it has many ingredients you can't pronounce, it's probably not good for you. Number four, by focusing on a highly nutritious diet, you don't have to worry about counting calories or macronutrients. Simply eat until you're full and then stop. Number five, resist the temptation to view your diet as a way to starve cancer. Like your normal healthy cells, cancer cells are highly adaptive. If you deprive them of a specific macronutrient, such as carbohydrates, they'll simply adapt by eating other macronutrients, such as proteins and fat for energy. In fact, cancer cells can and do use many different things for energy based on what's available. This includes carbohydrates, proteins, fats, ketones, hormones, and iron, just to name a few. So view nutrition as a way to fuel your body's healthy cells so that your body is functioning at or near its best, rather than viewing nutrition as a way to starve cancer. Number six, make use of smoothies. All you need is a blender and some highly nutritious foods. I recommend including fruits, vegetables, and a high quality protein powder. There are many great recipes on the internet to choose from. Smoothies are easily digestible and can serve as a complete meal. Number seven, remember that what you eat 95% of the time is what matters. Don't beat yourself up if you eat something you know you shouldn't. An occasional treat or a moment of weakness isn't going to cause your cancer to grow faster. With that said, it's certainly important to have a sound nutritional plan in place and do your best to stick to it. But the point is your diet shouldn't be stressful and you don't have to be perfect. Number eight, be sure to stay hydrated. A good rule of thumb is to drink about half of your body weight in ounces. So if you weigh 200 pounds, you should strive to drink at least 100 fluid ounces of water every day. Ideally, this should be filtered water to avoid many of the contaminants found in regular tap water. Number nine, remember that it's not just what you eat, but also when you eat that matters. A significant amount of research has shown us that fasting or periods of purposely avoiding food has many positive benefits ranging from helping the body remove damaged cells to boosting the immune response. And finally, number 10, even though nutrition matters, it might not matter as much as you think it does. There are some people out there recommending that you focus solely on nutrition to cure your cancer. I'm here to tell you that that is horrible advice. Studies show that patients who refuse recommended cancer treatments, such as chemotherapy and surgery, and instead focus solely on nutrition, have worse outcomes. In other words, they die sooner from their cancer. Make nutrition an important part of your treatment protocol, but don't let it be the entire focus of it. So as you can see, nutrition is really important, and it's something that you can easily do for yourself that will make a difference in your health. I hope this helps.